for a guy, it's fine to just have his chest exposed or you know, leg again, keeping the groin covered and making sure that you're not getting oil on their underwear. So again, notice here right away, do you see how there's like a depression there? Like it goes inward. That to me is often a sign of a bit of depression. And I'm feeling that on his back is that tight area that wouldn't go. So what I want to do is put some oil here and um, open that chest area up, which is the heart chakra. And a lot of our oils are designed for that heart area using some rose uh, myrtle, some rose geranium. And get a little bit settled in, open his arm up and I can use my little finger through here. You can use other fingers. My little finger just is able to get in between the ribs a bit. That's ticklish there. Okay. We can again even come in and feel what's, he's got a lot going on in his tummy as well. And of course, you know, this is gonna be relating to the big toe belly band. So that to me is that depression there uh, in that heart chakra is something that I definitely would wanna uh, focus on as a primary thing to get rid of in art. And that's gonna help him emotionally. In here, he's super tight too. And I'm using my other finger so that it's not so pokey for him. And I can even come into here. back and then caress through there just to open that chest up open that heart up because it's all like you know for one of a better word a bit fucked up <sighs> try not to go over the nipple on a man it's uncomfortable and I can just open that area up And then I want to know, I'm going to come back to there because I want to know what's going on in the front of his legs here as well. Same thing, we want to use enough oil to make sure that we're not grabbing those hairs or pulling them. And we can just gently try and go a bit lighter just to find that area just below his 10 and go slow enough where he can handle that. see his knuckles and again we haven't really loosened up enough down here to get all of it out so we're just going to get away anything that's going to come away nice and easy but all of this is going to be adding to this tension here which is then going to affect him here so again just finding that spot that I can work where he's going to let me in having a feel across the front of the foot here because there's a lot going in going on in here and again with oil I can just slide into that get into that get into here And again, I'm probably, you know, if, if, if this was Art's first treatment, I'd go a bit lighter, you know? Not too light, but a bit lighter. But I know Art, and I know, you know, he likes fairly firm pressure. Not over his 10, but he likes me to get in. And so, is that right, Art, or do you want me to go significantly no, no, I, lighter? No, no. Too light is irritating. It is, yeah. 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 Just yeah. Yeah. Just for the breeze. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> but, you know, as I say, there's only a limited amount we can do without getting in and, and really significantly loosening up these roots of tension in the toes. You know, we can do a bit on the toes and we can, you know, caress them a little bit here and there, shake them. But oil's not good to get the fine detail now, right? So we have, get, just take a deep breath, big breath. Okay. 
holding. So we have to be satisfied to a certain extent with what we're going to get out this way. And again, coming up under into the Achilles area. It's a bit tight. Just letting him feel alive. You feeling alive, Art? Yep. <laughs> but not too hard through here. <sighs> and again, like I say, with some people, you just go lighter. Right? Tight all through here. <laughs> Which is that big toe belly band that's hitting him in the chest as well. So this would almost be more recognizable to people as like a really good deep tissue massage, which then you could, you know, bring them in on the, on the uh, chopsticks and stuff later. Okay. And do the other leg. Still, like I say, we're working up the bands. We're just using oil to work up them, but we can still like do all these holding and shaking techniques. I like to push the toes back and then really get into here with a bit of oil. We can even work into this shin area here by moving the foot to the side and then just gently caressing up there. We could use our elbow to guide it, but much easier to slip with oil. You're gonna slip there. But if you're going, if you're going slow, it's not gonna hurt too much. So we can come into that delta band, we can come into this upper little toe band. We can even just try and get it, let go of that outer little toe band with a bit of gentle persuasion and encouragement. Coming up there, but we may need to put him in the side position. And as I say, if it's not letting go, it means that it's held in the toes still. So we don't want to force it. We're trying to coax or encourage it to let go. But if it's not going to let go, we don't. We don't come back to it after we've done the detail, which could be another treatment. Or you could use both an oil massage and a non-oil massage in the same. I can still do a lot of the belly massage with oil. Even the assisted belly breathing I can do. And as I say, if I have some oils that are good for the digestion, I can certainly use them as well.
I can do the intestinal massage. So I could just come up here under that liver area across the, from the ascending colon, transverse colon, and then the descending colon. And I could get in here and just Still get emotions moving with oil massage and energy and everything. It's just not quite as intense uh, as with getting in with chopsticks into the ends of the bands because He likes that one. Uh, we'll just hold it there for him. <laughs> ah! yeah. He's got comments. That's <laughs> fun. <laughs> 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 You're saying once you get a Canadian swearing, you know things are moving. Let's get you going to your side position, Art. Yeah. Again, we would 